Shalom. Giving all praises on and glory unto you. How about Shem Yahushai? La Hashem Rukhach with Dash Tabalanis to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone at Rawal. Shalom unto you, Akim, pushing this word throughout the world in faith and with truth. This is the brother Caleb from the GMS London Forecasters Camp. Um, giving, giving all praise and all glory once again to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone at Rawal. Um, uh, in the name of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukhach with Dash. Um, if you don't know, we are the real Hebrew Israelites. The real Israelites, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, West Indians and West Africans predominantly. But you are going to get Israelites that do look like the other nations because Israel has been scattered amongst all people throughout our various captivities. But if you'll see land by your forefathers, goes back to the man in the Bible who was named Jacob, then later named Israel, then you too are an Israelite no matter what you may look like. Because the book of Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18 states, your nationality is determined by the lineage of your forefathers. Okay, so I've got an article here from officialcharts.com. Uh, and it says, Glastonbury Festival will not take place in 2021. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, the Glastonbury Music Festival is one of the biggest music festivals, I guess, in the world. And it's, it's uh, been a very um, popular event for many, many years. And uh, last year it was cancelled due to coronavirus in 2020 and, and this will be the second consecutive year that it won't be running. So let's run this article. It says, um, Glastonbury Festival will not take place in 2021. The ongoing pandemic means I the iconic festival will enforce a second fallow year. It says the Glastonbury Festival will not take place in 2021. Organisers Michael and Emily Evis have announced the iconic festival was cancelled in 2020 due to the pandemic and its ongoing effects means the 2021 instalment will also not be taking place. With great regret we must announce that this year's Glastonbury festival will not take place um, and that this will be another enforced fallow year for us. Reads Michael and Emily's statement, in spite of our efforts to move heaven and earth, <laughs> In spite of our efforts to move heaven and earth, it has become clear that we simply will not be able to make the festival happen this year. We are sorry to let you all down. So that's from their Twitter post. Um, as with last year, we would like to offer all those who secured a ticket in October 29 the opportunity to roll their 20... <laughs> let me start this again. As with last year, we would like to offer all those who secured a ticket in October 2019 the opportunity to roll their £50 deposit over to next year. So that would be the second year they'll be rolling a deposit over and guarantee the chance to buy a ticket for Glastonbury 2022, which Lord willing will never happen. <laughs> we are appreciative of the faith and trust placed in us by those of you with deposits and we are very confident we can deliver something really special for us all in 2022. We thank you for the incredible continued support and let's look forward to better times ahead. With love, Michael and Emily. The announcement continues as we've... Oh, I just read that. The news comes over just two weeks since the organiser, Emily Evers, tweeted that the festival wasn't yet cancelled following Spice Girl Mel B stating that she was told it was leading to rumours that the Spice Girls may be in the works for the Worthy Park event. Uh, Glastonbury 2020 was due to be headlined by Paul McCartney, Kendrick Lamar and Taylor Swift. Well, it ain't happening. Uh, what have you got? Let me get some precepts. Because the mirth of this place is, is, is completely finished. The mirth has ceased. Yeah, there we go. Isaiah 24, verse 8. Yeah, let me start from Isaiah 28 and 1. 
Behold, Yahweh maketh the earth empty, it, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth, scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be, as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with his mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with him that taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh hath spoken his word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men are left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, and the merry-hearted do sigh. See, see, all these people in years past who attended this Glastonbury festival or watched it on TV. Now, I'll admit, I'm into music. I did used to watch it myself uh, on TV. But um, now their mirth is ceasing. Um, you know, and the merry-hearted, these people are merry once upon a time. Now they're sighing because of these, uh, um, all, the, all their favourite events are being cancelled and they're having to live in this... Uh, uh, pandemic lockdown state so it says the mirth of the tabrets ceaseth the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth and the joy of the harp ceaseth now the harp is a, a musical instrument and that's a very soothing type of sound you know very relaxing and it, it can bring peace to a person who's listening to it just like when king david played the harp for king saul it, you know it soothed the wicked spirit that was on king saul when david played the harp now these people are not going to get soothed by the harp. They're not going to get soothed by the music anymore because they're going to be facing too much affliction and tribulation. It says, The mirth of the tablet ceases. The noise of them that rejoiceth endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. So this Glastonbury festival, the joy of the harp, it's ceasing. They shall not drink wine with strong drink. Um, Slakia, move that. They shall not drink wine with a, with a song. Slakia. They shall not drink wine with a song. Now that's important because a lot of these people who went to these you know, festivals and music events, what were they doing? They were being merry hearted and drinking alcohol. You know, so it says here, Isaiah 24 and 8, The mirth of the tablet ceases, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up, locked down, baby, that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened, and the mirth of the land is gone. In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land amongst the people, there shall be as a shaking of an olive tree, as the gleaning of grapes, when the vintage is done. They shall lift up their voice, they shall sing for the majesty of Yahweh. they shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore glorify ye Yahweh in the fires, even the name of Yahweh, power of Israel, in the isles of the sea. Yeah, let me keep going because keep going, there's some more meat on this bone. Isaiah twenty four sixteen. From the uttermost past of the earth have we heard songs, even glory to the righteous. But I said, my leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. The treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Yea, the treacherous dealers have dealt very treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitants of the earth. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fair shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh, cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. This is talking about the nuclear missiles when they hit. The earth is utterly broken down, the earth is clean dissolved, the earth is moved exceedingly. 
The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and a transgression though shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings that of, of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the howl of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, and Jerusalem shall, and Jerusalem, before his ancients gloriously. So yeah, man, uh, Glastonbury is done. The mirth of this place is done. All the hope, uh, you know, Christmas was cancelled, New Year's was cancelled, Glastonbury is cancelled. You know, travel for the most part to certain destinations is cancelled. It's all going down, man, and it's all coming to um, reaching a crescendo of of a climax of calamity. You could put it that way. So yeah, just a quick lesson: giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahashai, by Shem Rakhak Dash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that full well. Shalom unto you, Aki, and pushing this word. Um, in faith, in truth, in sincerity, and until the next lesson, Lord willing, I say shalom.